Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome back to the channel. A uh, quick one here for you today. I'm stepping out into the garden because we currently have about an hour until Brooks Kepka tees off and I need to get this out to you ASAP Rocky. My wife is asleep inside and until more of you hit that subscribe button and I can afford to get out of my closet, I'm limited on options. So we're doing this one outside today. So wind, background noise, I apologize. But we're gonna jump right into it. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already. There's a couple things we need to talk about today. First and foremost, Rick Shields, Mondays, those are his upload days for the Rick Shield Golf Show. Usually, sometimes they're all over the place, but tomorrow is Monday. I would not be surprised if we get a response from Rick about the whole good good announcing they're not going to the YouTube Masters situation, because that is, I don't say it's a huge blow to the YouTube Masters, because obviously it's gonna be a great competition. Rick Shields is the biggest creator. He doesn't need anyone, but good good, like straight up announcing they're not participating, in kind of like a big spectacle way, it, it's gonna, I, I, it's gotta evoke a response. So I'm gonna be very interested to hear what he has to say here, cause he's talked a lot about how he thought they were coming, about, you know, kind of hyping up the tournament with them in mind and with, you know, them competing at the end and competing Micah against Luke and all that kind of stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how this runs. So stay tuned to the channel. Again, hit that subscribe button. I'll keep you up to date on that. But what I wanna talk about today, okay. So yesterday, Micah released a video a Break 64 intro series video. So it was episode one of his new Break 64 series. Now, he starts it off right at the beginning by saying Rick Shields has been doing the Break 75 since before I was born, which is hilarious. Good job, Micah, that's comedy. And then he does address the fact that Garrett and Luke Kwan have both been doing Break 65 series, which is true. Both those guys have been doing that. Luke a bit more regularly than Garrett. Garrett's kind of done a couple episodes here and there. Luke's done it, Luke's broken 65, Luke, that whole thing. So Micah addresses that right off the rip, which is good in the first like 10 to 15 seconds of the video, but there's no getting around the fact that the Sunday matches that were announced on his Instagram with the lol comment from Garrett is now followed up by a break series that is one shot lower than Garrett's break series. It's funny. It's funny, you can't get around that. The comment section in that video is ridiculous. Um, the one thing I do wanna say though, is that like nobody owns these kind of series titles. I really don't think so. I think the comments like this one, like the one in the thumbnail being like, you know, he's copying him, he's doing this, he's, you know, salty as bad about get That's, I don't think that, I there's a limited amount, and this is the problem I think YouTube Golf is running into, and I think people are working hard to solve, is that, the bigger it's gotten, it's exploded in the last few years, there's a lot of repetitiveness. There just is. If you're trying to make videos about you playing golf, there are, there's gonna be repetition. There's gonna be people doing similar style things, you know? And it's just, it's impossible not to run into that. And it doesn't necessarily mean you're copying someone, it doesn't necessarily mean you're doing something directly to spite someone in this case. It it just means you're, you're creating content that, you know, is gonna work for you. And Micah explains the 64 number in his way, which is saying that, you know, he has shot 65, I think, on camera a couple different times and in life a couple different times. He's never shot lower than 64. So he wants to shoot lower than 64. He wants to shoot a 63 or 62 or whatever, which, like, who doesn't? And that would be very cool. And I think it's very achievable. We watched him shoot a Bowie 3 700 par in a pro tournament on his YouTube channel. Like, the golf is definitely in there. So it's not like he's picking this number just to be one lower than Garrett, just to create the drama and the buzz. Like, he legitimately has the golfing ability to do that. And personally, I really like these types of series. I've said it a million times. My favorite, most consistent watch on YouTube is Rick Shields Break 75. It has been forever. Ever since I started golf, YouTube golf, that's always been my thing. I just love watching it. And I like the style that Micah brought to this video. It's a little shorter. It's a little, I, it's edited a bit more like the video that I put out when I was at Good Good Championships when I played the course in just a bit less talking, a bit less fancy graphics all over the place and transitions and just a bit more golf. Like I kind of enjoy that hearing, you know, background thoughts to these guys, but really just watching the golf, seeing what they score. It's a bit more relaxing, a bit more slow pace. I kind of like that. Even though the edit's shorter, it's slower pace in the sense that it's not just plain. That Look, the moral of the story is that it's something different, that Micah is bringing something different to the channel that I do believe is his value prop. And he said it at the beginning of the video. These videos aren't so much about entertainment, they're about good golf. They're about trying to play good golf. And that's something that sometimes can get lost in the world of YouTube golf, right? It's entertainment first a lot of the time. You're doing wacky challenges, you know, with the rise of like Bob the Sports, the comedic side of things can, be, can overpower the golf sometimes. Like there's honestly a lack of like 
trying to play as good a golf as possible type content sometimes. And so I think Micah sees that. And I think Micah is trying to maximize his ability to, to capitalize on that and take over that little space because he's one of the few people on YouTube golf who can go out and legitimately potentially shoot a 63 or 62 on camera. So overall, I don't think he's doing any of this as far as working through this plane. I don't think he's doing any of this despite Garrett. I don't think he's doing it really intentionally because of that. I think there are legitimate reasons. Is there maybe a slight salty undertone? Is there maybe a slight little like bumping your shoulders? Sure, maybe. I mean, obviously, if we're gonna talk about potential of bad blood between anyone, it's definitely Micah and Garrett after leaving the group. That's just the one we're all kind of thinking, you know, potentially is there. Um, but again, I think he has very legitimate reasons for doing this. I think it's good quality content and I think it's gonna be an interesting series to follow. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below.